Oklahoma City Thunder, Houston Rockets, Game 5. This is probably going to be the game that decides this series. I mean, what is the percentage? The team that wins Game 5 goes on to win a series. How many percentage of the time? And also, we're in the bubble. So I would tend to believe it's just going to be tough for any team to win two games in a row. So if you can win Game 5, Houston, OKC, I think you're in the driver's seat to win this series. Also, 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 Russell Westbrook is back. Brody. Only played in four regular seasons for the Houston Rockets, and they shut him down. His first game in the playoffs for the Rockets. They will need him as the team that awaits whoever wins this series has a guy by the name of LeBron James and another guy by the name of Anthony Davis, and they've been playing good basketball as of late. So let's get right into it. Rockets, Thunder, game five, game five. Come vibe out and enjoy a highlight with your boy, full game highlight. We like to do these after we post the two-minute to three-minute highlights of the game early in the morning, the following morning after the games from the previous night, right? Russell Westbrook actually falling to the ground, but I like to see him fall, test that knee out. You know, make sure everything's okay. I like to see that, actually. Harden gets the quick two. Now, I watched this game live, and the Rockets had a simple game plan against the Thunder. We're not going to see much of it here because House of Highlights put together mostly makes, right? The, the game plan was simple, though. We're going to allow Lou Dortz, this is the rookie out of Arizona State for Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma City. The reason why he started is because he's got the he's the guy guarding James Harden. He's the best that the Thunder got to guard James. We're going to allow Lou to shoot as many times as he wants. That was the formula. And Lou Dort shot nine times in the first quarter. I mean, really fell in their trap. He just took shot after shot after shot and only made like one or two baskets. That was the game plan. And offensively, I really like what I saw from Eric Gordon in this one. I, you know, we, so oftentimes we get caught up in when a star returns, what they're going to do for a team. But we never really talk about what, what that means for other guys. You bring a guy like Eric Gordon back. It not only allows James Harden to get a little bit more rest, but to me, more importantly, it puts Eric Gordon back in a place that I think he's been the most comfortable in his career as Lou Dortz goes and gets a bucket. It's a nine-point game. Houston up. I think it allows Eric Gordon to go back into that third option, and I think Eric Gordon as a number three on your team as he passes the dangle house in the corner for three is absolutely uh, deadly. Don't sleep on Eric Gordon, man, because he doesn't get injured as much in the playoffs Baisley on a three. as Baisley Two drills the three the and uh in the Western Conference. yeah I think Eric, I think Eric Gordon as stretch. the three roll is uh is great for this Rockets team as three they three try to make a uh but their defense a run so here solid and gives them a chance to stay in games how good has Schroeder been the last couple of games of this series? Quiet That's what we got here. Schroeder. Oh, Schroeder really got it going in a second. Schroeder scored 11 straight points. Got the box score pulled up. Uh, uh, got the box score pulled up here. Schroeder had 18 points in the second quarter. He goes for 11 straight to lead the Thunder. He's become their best score. Like, Chris has been able to do it down the stretch. A couple of times, but I feel like most con the, the most consistent scorer that the Thunder have had, the guy that could get a bucket the easily, Schroeder. Oh, James. James had a quiet 31 in this one. We're tied at 36 right now, and then Schroeder does that to give the Thunder the three-point lead. Thunder of five. Hard. You never feel like a lead is, is, is insurmountable in this series for either team. As Westbrook passes to Covington. What up, TSU? Westbrook struggled from the field, but he did drop off uh, seven assists, six rebounds. Look at Schroeder, fam. Chris, Ian Covington down. Over Covington and he is the best all time at getting his shot off over bigger defenders. The best all time. Harden was highly efficient in the first half, and that continues. Okay, third quarter. The Rockets starting to take a uh, take off here. See what I did there? Rockets take off. No, okay. Eric Gordon in the lane for the deuce. Strong to the cup. Eleven point game. Not function 
offensively Hello. with them on the floor. Hard. And they're having a hard Euro. time Euro, to Euro, do Euro, a Euro, 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 Euro. Understand Eric Gordon was playing some defense in this one, man. Look at him. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Turnover, that's rack City, baby. Holman, look at Gordon. I'm about to rack you to sleep. I'm going to rack you to sleep. Hey, I'm going to rack you to sleep. It's a 20-point game. Can Chris Paul lead another one of those comebacks? The Thunder came back in game four. Could they do the same thing in game five? Oh, yeah. This 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 wasn't good. Uh, P.J. Tucker headbutts Dennis Schroeder. But he does have a legit reason. Bro, look at what Dennis does. He actually hits... I can't say that that was intentional, Tucker, but P I was looking at Dennis play, Schroeder. Tucker he was very wide. Right I don't think he meant it. You, I mean, you could tell he, he's moving on to the next play. Yeah, he, but he was too wide, called, which allowed him to go right PJ between Tucker PJ's legs. Both these guys A got ejected for that. Here's the thing. Stand on as, as important as PJ Tucker is to that Thunder, to that uh, Rockets team, Dennis Schroeder has been the guy scoring. For the Thunder, so you lose Schroeder, and to me that ends this basketball game. I don't care what OKC's trying to do. Beautiful crossover from CP3. You're not, you're not winning this game without Schroeder. To me, the sixth man of the year. Uh, Chris had 16 points. Schroeder had 19 off the bench, but again ejected. I mean, think about it. You lose Schroeder, who had 19. PJ Tucker only had five points. Westbrook. As Westbrook drills the three. We heard uh, earlier. Russ, that's a beautiful pass. He's been such a I was having a conversation with somebody about three. who's the better Nine passer continues. between Russ and, and Harden. I think it's Harden, but that was a beautiful so pass, though. Covington for three. Covington deficits. was 6 of 11 for the three-point line, 22 the points. Of both games, three and four to win. Houston and went out and got Covington at the deadline. Gordon. Eric Gordon had 20 really points as well. Test the mental toughness. This is over. And like I said, whoever wins game five is Nader just a three. I think they're going to win this series. McLemore in the Covington. 26-point game. Hard. Covington, beautiful. When Harden wants to do that with the basketball, Nothing you can do with him. This team now psychologically can bounce back. They've done it all year long. And Jeff Green has been big as That's well for Houston. By Jeff Green, the Thunder are only going to score 80 points in this basketball this game. I mean, look, they're at 75 at the four-minute marker. They're just not scoring class. buckets. Especially I know it's, it's role-player time, but sheesh, man. This Thunder and, uh, team can only go games. seven guys, eight guys deep. Mm. They are not a Count very the deep team because they're very young, right? But... Just kind of look at it right now. You got all the bench guys in the game. And the Thunder are not scoring. Beautiful block there, though. That was a beautiful play. But look at the, I mean, as Diallo goes up and gets one on Ben McLemore. But look, I mean, they're at 80 points. They're just not scoring a lot. Every play that that ain't good. Gotta go hard all the time. Just the Has Roberson fell out of the rotation again? Vertical ability. Did Roberson play? Roberson did not play. Wow. <laughs> so is that the third year in a row that Roberson's been unavailable? Because you'd rather have Roberson out there than Luke Dort, because Roberson's just a much more experienced defender. Why are we not talking about that enough? Look at this. I mean, look, what's Roberson's contract? He's at least making $16 million a year. Roberson out again. So that's like year three. That he's been unavailable for his team. I cannot believe we're not talking about this. Roberson has fallen out of that rotation again. A three-year, $30 million deal. So I was wrong. A little less than what I said. But uh, it's $10 million a year. And he's got a dead cap value of $10 million a year. So, I mean, you're just letting them essentially just collect money on your, your payroll. That probably tells me the Thunder have given up on Roberson. His contract will... What, yeah. He's got... 17 18 18 19 19 yeah this is this is it for his deal so i'm pretty sure the thunder have said their last goodbyes to roberson unofficially if he's not playing in this series i would have got him out there i would have got his ass out there to play like yo you're gonna get you're gonna earn some of this money back that we didn't pay you for free and let you rehab on our on our dollar uh that's unfortunate i just kind of noticed that one right why why no one's talking about roberson being unavailable for that team again this dude was looked at by a lot as like a top seven defender in the league a few years ago. And that just seems like that, that conversation is dead. And it seems like his career might not be in a good state out this. I hope he saved his money well. 
Anywho, the Rockets take care of business versus OKC. 114 to 80 is the final score. Game six is about in a day or so. Rockets looking to advance in the second round of the playoffs. The Lakers are waiting on them. I am out.